recently had the opportunity to review a couple of desktop 3D printers. The Lulzbot Taz and the Infinia H479 from Salig. You can check out Chris's review by clicking the link below, but this got us thinking about all of the 3D printers out there. The many, many printers that we have yet to get our hands on. Hmm. Hmm. So this is our short and sweet top 10 wish list of intriguing 3D printers that we'd like to get our hands on next. The first is the MakerBot Replicator 2X, now from Stratasys. We really just want to see what all the hype is about with these things. MakerBot was recently acquired by Stratasys for $400 million. That's a lot of hype. And they just signed a national distribution agreement with Ingram Micro, one of the world's largest wholesale technology distributors. The second is the Cubify Cube X Trio. Triple extrusion with a build envelope large enough to print a basketball. Sounds like something we'd want to put to the test. The printer, not the basketball. It's just not my sport. I'm terrible. I'm short. The EOSynt M280. This direct metal laser centering machine prints metal components, making it possible to print prototypes or even working parts. It also means a multi-million dollar installation, but we made room for it in the PD&D budget. The Form Labs Form 1. We covered this thing a year ago when it became the most successful Kickstarter on record. Raised about $3 million when it shot for 100 grand. No pressure. High res stereolithography on your desktop? Yeah, I want one. The Delta Maker, another Kickstarter success. This printer uses a Delta robot for extrusion rather than the traditional stepper motors. The MCOR Iris. This thing prints with paper. What? It lays pieces of paper together to create a high resolution, one million color rich 3D structure. Impressive! Indeed. The Stratasys Dimension Elite, a nine color professional grade 3D printer. That's not to mention layer thicknesses down to one one hundredth of an inch. The Object 1000, a beastly machine with a print envelope of 1000 by 800 by 500 millimeters for big models and multiple materials. 3D Systems Z Printer 850 with a vertical build speed of 5 to 15 millimeters per hour and 390,000 colors. This brings a new meaning to the word rapid in rapid prototyping. Last but not least, the Solidscape 3Z Max. Used for lost wax casting, investment casting, and mold making applications, it quickly and efficiently creates casts and molds. What did we miss? Are you kidding? We had 10. The market has hundreds, if not thousands. Okay, so maybe we missed a few. Comment below and we'll cover them in an upcoming episode. And remember to click the link and see how Taz stacked up against the Athenia. For Chris Fox, I'm David Manti, and this has been Rapid Fire. <laughs> Yes. <laughs>